I try to avoid talking about me and speed cubing. So I'm involved in, uh, how much time do I have? Uh, 20 seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've been involved in speed cubing since 2005. I went to a conference, uh, no, not a conference, a competition at the Exploratorium, January 2006, and I got more and more involved. And three years later, I was running that same competition, and uh, this was my best solve there.
so you, there are certain parity constraints. I can't have less than three corners off. So I did one thing wrong, and then uh, three of them got cycled out of place. Um, right. Do we have a little time left? Or? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You've got five seconds left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get paid? Whatever fraction of the dollar it is. <laughs> Because it says comps and permutations in the same orientation is a separate mess. You can actually combine them by viewing it as a permutation on 54 stickers and then viewing the tethered uh, permutations. And this, I don't, I don't like all the ones that are out there. Question. For the blindfold one, were you memorizing what it looked like or were you memorizing a series of moves? Okay, so you can do either way. Um, I actually like speed blindfolded and I'm actually kind of known for doing that, but I did, I memorized. I looked at it, what it was, and then I memorized the cycle structure. And from that, I can actually deduce what moves to do, but I don't have to do that yet. I just memorized the state of the cube in a good uh, set of information. So you're not thinking of just in terms of patterns and thoughts on it. It's another. I'm, I'm sure it's, that's actually not a bad way to describe it. I'm, I'm imagining this piece goes there, in a sense, so that you get this piece going here, and you can do it as an arrow, you can do it as dots tracing through the cube, something like that. I actually do it visual. Some people memorize actual letters assigned to each sticker. There's lots of methods. Is this linked with what you would like to do after school? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um, I, I actually got to stand for thinking I was going to do lots of math. And then so I ended up speaking president of the Cuban Club and then organized some competitions there. But then I'm, I'm probably going to end up going into CS and I'll just be doing lots of amusing math diversions for fun. Hopefully coming to this more frequently. Uh, but there's not exactly much professional to be done. I go to competitions, occasionally I win, but you can't really make money off of it. Unless you're Brendan Valance, who somehow, I mean, everyone who wins the World Championship ends up quitting, so that's maybe something not to go for. <laughs> right, uh, I think we have to go on to the next one.